a man randomly chooses a tie from three red tie and two blue tie. So you have got three red tie and two blue tie. And a shirt from two blue tie and three red tie. So the question is, so red shirts. So you've got three red and blue, two blue ties. And he has got two blue shirt and three blue shirts. What's the probability that he will choose both the red tie and a red shirt? So let's write this before drawing the tree diagram. So let me explain without the tree diagram. So what we are saying is you've got a person has got three red ties. So let's write T1. I'm color coding it. T1, T1, T2, T3 are the red tie. And he has got two blue ties. I'm going to say this is T4 and T5. Okay, and he has got uh, two blue ties. So let me write S, sorry, shirts. S1 and S2 are the two blue shirt. And he has got three red shirts. So S, S3. S4, S5. So these are the three red shirt and these are the two blue shirts. These are the three red ties and these are the two blue ties. So the question is what is the probability that I will choose both red, a red tie and a red shirt? So to find any probability, so the question is what is the probability? So let me use a white color. The question is what is probability of a red tie and a red shirt. This is the question. So here, this would be the, uh, it is the total outcome. You have to first find what's the total outcome. Or in other words, in how many ways can he choose one shirt and one tie? And this is the favorable outcome. So I'll explain what is the favorable outcome. This is the, you can say, favorable outcome. And this is a total outcome. So let's first find the favorable outcome. So the favorable outcome is the outcome that we are looking for. Favorable outcome. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the person selecting a red shirt and a red tie, or red tie and a red shirt. So how can he select one red tie and a red shirt? So well, he can go T1, T1, S3. He can go T1, S4, and or he can go T1, S5. Okay, or he can start with T2, T2, S3, T2, S4, T2, S5. Or he can go T3, S3, T3, S3, S4, sorry, S4, and T3, S5. So if you look at this pattern, so what are we saying? He chooses this tie, he chooses the first tie, T1, which is a red tie, and he goes with these three shirts. So can you see this is same? What is changing is the shirt, S3, S4, S5. And in the second row, he is choosing the second tie, that is T2, and this is changing. So in other words, horizontally, T1 is remaining same. And vertically, your S is remaining same. So if you look this way, can you see S3 is remaining same? S3 is remaining same. So the total outcomes which favors the outcome that we are looking for is 9. So you got this would be 9 out of the total outcome. So what's the total outcome? So I want to write the total outcome. So total outcome is all the possible outcomes. So in how many ways can he select one shirt and one tie. So let's do, so let's start with T. If he starts with T1, he can go S1. So let me use a color coding. Uh, T1, S1. He can go T1, T2, 
T1S2. He can go T1S3, T1S4, T1S5. So basically what I have done is I have done a row of outcomes which starts with T1. So you've got five outcomes here. So if it starts with T2, he can again get five outcomes. So the total outcomes, I hope you understand, is 25 outcomes are there. The 25 ways in which he can select one tie and one shirt without, we are not looking at any, any, any particular order. We are thinking of all possible outcomes. So well, so this is 9 out of 25. Okay, and if you want to write this as a percent or decimal, this is how much? So if you want to write it out of 100, so 25 times 4 is 100, so this is 36 out of 100, which is 0 0.36 as a decimal, or that is 36 percent probability that he will select a red tie and a red shirt. Now if you want to do the same thing on a tree diagram, is this is how you do, so you start with a you can do a blue tie or a red tie. So what's the probability of a blue tie? A blue tie, uh, you've got three reds, so the probability would be three out of five, and this would be two out of five. So after the tie is selected, you have to select a shirt. So you can go with a blue shirt, BS stands for blue shirt, this is a red shirt. Okay, so you have the next branch, you've got a blue shirt and a red shirt. So we are interested only in this branch, so let's complete the probability tree. You've got how many sh blue shirts? You've got two blue shirts, so this is two out of five, and this would be three out of five. And this will again be two out of five, and this will be three out of five. So we are looking at this branch. We are looking at a red shirt, which is 3 out of 5, and then red tie and a red shirt. Okay, so the probability of a red tie and a red shirt, if you want to draw the probability tree, this is just multiplying along the branches. This is 3 fifths times three-fifth, three-fifth times three-fifth is nine out of twenty-five, same answer. So when you're drawing a probability tree, it becomes very easy, but at times you don't understand what you're doing, how you got this twenty-five and how you got this nine. 